What's up guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do automatic lead generation and I don't mean you know getting to the point whereby you you, you know contact these leads and whatnot but actually getting the leads into your CRM so that you can then contact them and part two as far as you know doing the cold emailing and whatnot I will um, put in the um, in part two of this which will be released later this week but I'm just going to be showing you guys how to actually get the leads into your spreadsheet or your air table or whatever it is you're looking for and with that I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Appify. Now, Appify is the secret weapon that we use in our agency, both for loading data into um, large language models, as well as actually pulling um, leads for some of our clients. So I'm going to be using you, telling you guys exactly how you can do that using um, Appify and using Make. So the first thing you're going to want to do is first, obviously, open up a Make account, open up a, an Appify account. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go over to your settings in your Appify account and then make sure that you can find your um, your personal API token under integrations because when you open up the, the module in Appify, you're going to first have to make that connection. So once you've made that connection, you're then going to want to look for the actor that you want to use. So if you go over to the store, you'll be able to find all sorts of actors as you can see there's web amazon product scrapers tiktok scrapers twitter scrapers instagram profiles all sorts but what we're looking for is google maps so with this um tool is actually quite is, is free in the sense that you get five dollars credit on the appify um, platform which means that you can use this for a certain number of leads i'm not sure how many but it should be more than enough to get started and for this example, all you need to do is, let's say we're going to be using a spa. So let's say you're reaching out to spas. These, these, are, these are your target audience. All you need to do is in the search term, add in spa here in the location, type in London, and then you type in the number of results we want. And for this example, we're going to be using 10 um, just for you know speed's sake. And then um, from there, you want to make sure that you actually get the name of the um, or the ID of the scraper because you're gonna then want to put that detail here. That's the name of the actor. So once you've then got your details that you want, you wanna click over to switch to JSON editor. And then from there, you just wanna copy and paste to the JSON, um, which would be you know the same as the, the information that you've already put into here. You can add all sorts of different options like scraping reviews and all these other things. So you can actually get a little bit more detail in terms of even the number of reviews that's, that a, a company has. So you can get a little bit more specific with um, with your leads. And then from here, you just want to copy and paste that, those details right here. Obviously, it's the same details that I've already put in. And then from there, um, you want to click yes to run synchronously. And I've put a timeout of 320. You can put whatever timeout clause you want. And then you just want to click OK. Next, I put in the the the, um, the sleep tool, which you can find here just under tools. You can put in sleep. The reason for that being you don't want the Appify run to finish in make before it's got the data set. Um, items that you actually want to get into your Google Sheets because obviously the next step is then getting the data set items. Now this is really important. When you're setting your data set ID, you want to come down here to where it says de default data set ID because that's going to be the storage unit inside Appify and that's where it's going to pull all your information from for your lead generation. And you can set it to whatever limit you want and the format that you like, but I've just selected JSON, that's the default. And then from there, you then want to go to Google Sheets. Now for Google Sheets, all you need to do is authenticate your Google um, account. So it will open up another page. You just select authorize. And then from there, you can select your drive. As you can see, there's a few drives here. Then you want to select your spreadsheet. And as you can see, there's a few different spreadsheets that you'll find here. And then from there, you want to select sheet name one. So obviously, um, with this one, I've already created the, um, the spreadsheet. So, you know, if you want to um, have it automatically add the, d the details into the spreadsheet, just make sure you open up the spreadsheet. You add these categories that you want as we can, all these, these columns as you want. As you can see, we have name, category, website, and phone number. So those are going to be the ones that come up on this side. And as far as the values that you're going to be extracting, um, all you need to do is click here, and then it will tell you the type of data that's in the data set. So here, all you want is title. So if you go over here and you click title, that's going to pull up the, the name of the, of the place that you're pulling. Then category name, which is obviously going to be a, some type of spa or massage parlor. And then website, you just click, you just select website, which is here. And then phone unformatted, which is going to be here. The reason I chose unformatted is because it doesn't have the plus, which include, which introduces a formula error in Google Sheets. So just unformatted is the best one. And then from there, 
you click OK. Now from this point, all you need to do is press play and this will automatically start the process in Appify for looking for those search terms and then getting all that data into the data set inside Appify and then from there uploading it all into Google Sheets. And again, you can use this in Airtable, you can use this in Google Sheets, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. I'm just using Google Sheets because it's simple and it's free and anybody can use it. So, next thing you wanna do is, you know, just to show you guys it's working, if you go over to Runs on under in Appify, as you can see here, you will see that the run is going on. Fantastic. Now we can see that the run is going on and typically in Appify, it takes about a minute to start getting results, which is why, um, let's go for you run, which is why I delayed, which is why I added the sleep um, function inside Appify, inside make, sorry. So from here, as you can see, it's just waiting to finish and then it's gonna instigate the, um, the tools function, which is gonna wait roughly a hundred seconds before it gets to uh, the data set items and then adding the rows, which should give us more than enough time to get the details that we want. As we can see, it's starting to fill up, which is fantastic. So it's just gonna wait until it hits 10 and then from there it will be done. Okay. Fantastic. So now we've got seven results, all the way up to 10. And yeah, as you can see, these are some of the details that you'll get. You have the URL, the category name, phone number, website, country code, city, all sorts of different details. And this should be finished in just a minute. Now you can scrape, you know, thousands of details of this. Obviously, you, you, there's a few things that you would have to change, such as the timeouts feature so that it only pulls the data once it's done. Or you can, um, you can make two separate make um, scenarios, which means that one of them would be running the... Um, the the um, um, one of them will run the actor and then the other one will run the um, the pulling of the data set items into your lead gen okay so we're just going to wait for this to finish it should be finished soon and if it takes a little bit too long i'm just going to skip forward to the part where it's done but this is just a tool that will be quite useful if you don't want your data to be pulled prematurely there we go all done fantastic now as you can see it's just loaded all 10 of those data um, those data points into lead gen and as you can see voila we have 10 quick leads that we can call that we have websites for we know they're in london we can, we can also add the you know the category the, the actual location the city everything but here we know here we go we've got everything that we need and hopefully this will help you guys with regards to um, automating your lead generation such that all you need to do is add a search term add a location and you can use all sorts of different actors inside appify but hopefully this helps you with either your ai automation business or with your own you know business where you want to do your own lead gen thank you guys for tuning in catch you soon now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, make sure you subscribe to TJAI because I'll be releasing new videos every single week, at least twice a week on different AI automations and different tools that you can use in your business or in your AI automation agency to service your clients. And if you want to connect with me, my links are below TJ.AI on Instagram and TJ Canieri on Twitter. Also, you can connect with me on LinkedIn, which is Tatenda Canieri. Again, all the links are below. And if you are a business looking to integrate AI automation, make sure you go to scalemybiz.ai because we can book a free prototype for you. So make sure you hop on a call with us and we'll make sure that we'll get your business problems sorted with the help of AI. So you can save time, save money, and watch your business processes go on autopilot. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you again soon.